this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your furniture plan in Revit. So we're first going to start by coming over here to the project browser. We're going to right click on our first floor new plan. We're going to duplicate this. And I'm just going to say duplicate. We're going to rename this. We'll call this the first floor furniture plan. Now, since we just duplicated, it didn't copy any of our annotations, but the one annotation I do want is the room tags. Now, I don't have to replace my rooms. What I have to do is I just come up here to the architecture tab, come here to room tag. I'm going to say this tag all not tagged because my rooms are actually here. They just don't have their tags assigned to them. We're just going to scroll down until we get to room tags. We're just going to click that, we're going to click OK, and then that brings all of my room tags back for this view. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to place some furniture. So I'm going to come here to the Insert tab, and I'm going to just going to load some furniture families in here. So I'm just going to get like a couch and some tables. So yeah, I'm just going to do these chairs right here. And then I'm also going to load a, a dining table in here real quick. And I'll just do this round with chairs. All right, and then just like any other component, we'll just come here and we can place our tables. I'm going to place my couch. And again, if I hit the space bar, it'll rotate for me. And then the chair. I'm just going to rotate this 45 degrees. Okay, so now that we have our furniture in here, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a tag for this furniture. And so we're going to come here to the file to new, and we're going to create a new family. And we're going to come here to annotations. And then we're going to just pick this one that says generic tag. So what a tag is going to allow us to do is this what is what allows us to schedule components in Revit. And so anytime you place an object in Revit, so take our furniture, for example, Revit keeps track of every everything that we place and then all of that can be scheduled. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a symbol that's going to be associated on the plan that we can then use to correspond to our schedule that we're going to set up in another video. So for now, I've deleted this red text. All that was saying is that I need to come click this button right here and change the category because we want this to go from generic model and we're gonna just pick furniture tags. And then what we're gonna do is come here to create, we're gonna create a label. And we're just gonna click in the center right here. And what I wanna find is we have what's called a mark. We have what's called a type mark. If you remember, we have in Revit, we can have different types, which is basically the same thing that's repeated that we can easily change, or we have an instance, which is just a single use of a certain type. For this case, I'm gonna use the type mark. So I'm just gonna go over like this. And my sample value, I'm just going to say F1. This just is just so that it kind of gives us a reference of what our text is going to look like so that when we draw a symbol around this, that it's more to make sure that it's going to fit inside our symbol. So I'm just going to shrink this text box just a little bit. And then 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a detail line or just create a line right here. And I'm just going to make a square. And I'm just going to use my dimension. I just want to make sure this is quarter inch and a quarter inch. That will give me a total of a half inch. And then I'm going to make this a quarter inch tall. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the background of this is white so that if I put it over something that has lines, I don't see the lines through this tag. So I'm going to come here to create. I'm going to pick this one that says masking region. I'm just going to use this pick line tool. I can just pick these four lines. Now it doesn't look like it did much, but when we actually put this into Revit, it will not have a transparent background, meaning everything inside that rectangle is always going to be white, which just makes it easier to read. So now that I'm done with that, we're just going to load this into our project. It's going to ask if you want to save. So I'm going to say yes and just pick where you want to save this. I'm just going to call this furniture tag. And hit save. And then I'm going to come back to my first floor plan and I'm going to click this button right here. Or also if you come to the annotate, there's one right here that says tag by category. And basically what this allows me to do, and I might have to come in here and change. I'm going to change this to the furniture tag that I just created. I'm not going to do a leader. And I can just click like this and this is tagging my furniture. And then the last thing I need to do is assign a mark to this. So let me start with this chair right here. So if I call this one, find my type marks, so I hit edit type. Right here where it says type mark, I'm just going to type F-1 and click OK. Now the reason we did a type mark is if I come in here and if I place another one of these chairs, when I come to tag this, you'll see it already says F1. That's because it, this these two chairs are the same type. And if we had done just a regular mark, that would just be controlled by the instance. We would have to redo that. But now, and then I can also change this just straight from the tag too. So if I just come here and click on the tag once and then click on this question mark, I'm going to type F2. And this is the same thing as if I had hit edit type properties and went in there and changed the type, type mark. And you'll see that saying, uh, this is changing a parameter to you that can affect more than one element, do you want to continue? And you're going to say yes, because what's that saying is that it's going to assign this one to be F2 as well. And then here, we'll just type F-3. And so that's how we set up our furniture plan. And in the next video, I will go over setting up a legend for our furniture.